Time now for your Money Watch report. Today is Giving Tuesday, a day that encourages people to donate to charities. And CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger joins us from New York with what you need to know before you open your checkbook. Welcome, Jill. First off, and good morning to you, is there a tax benefit to those giving today? You probably don't remember all the way back to 2018, but that's when we had a new tax law that required you to <coughs> itemize your tax deductions if you want to claim any benefit for taxes and your charitable giving. So that means only about 10% of tax filers who itemize are able to actually get some benefit from their giving. There are some strategies you can try to bunch up your deductions to push you above the itemized threshold. But again, you must itemize to get any credit on your taxes for your charitable giving. I know that's not why you give anyway. Just want you to know that going in. Well, Joel, I know a lot of people are giving and I'm sure people are looking at this as an opportunity to take. So how can we make sure that the charity you're giving to is legit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we've gotten a lot of alerts from the IRS, which says this is high scamming and phishing season. So and the charity is just an amazing way to pull at your heart and also get your data. So if you hear of an organization, it kind of sounds familiar, but it doesn't sound quite right. Don't do anything. Go straight to the IRS.gov uh, website. And they've got a tool there that's great. The tax exempt organization search tool. You just want to make sure your charity is listed there. And remember, do not donate over the phone. Don't give anyone your credit card or your personal information until you do this. You've got to verify that it's a legitimate organization. If you want to research how much of your donation goes to supporting programs versus overhead, then you want to go to the Wise Giving Alliance, Charity Navigator, Charity Watch. They're all very helpful charity watchdog resources. Joe, what about investors? How can they give to charity with Uncle Sam's help? You might have a taxable investment account. Maybe you were one of those folks who uh, bought a bunch of stuff during COVID and you're, it's just sitting there. Well, you can gift highly appreciated securities to the charities. The cool thing is you write off the current market value, not just what you pay, and you avoid capital gains taxes. If you're 70 and a half and you've got an IRA account, and you might be thinking, well, I've got to start taking my required minimum distributions in the next few years. Well, there is something that you can do that's pretty cool called a qualified charitable distribution. This allows you to make a gift to charity of up to $100,000 in a given year directly from your pre-tax IRA to a public charity. Now, why is this beneficial? Because normally you pull the money out of the IRA account, you get a tax, right? That's a bummer. And if you don't need the money, this is so fabulous because you can just push that money over to the charity and you don't have to pay any income tax on the accumulation. Pretty good deal. All right. As always, thank you so much for the time, Jill. And for more analysis, go to JillOnMoney.com.